Since its inception, Skullnagara Mastery has always been about teaching and learning. With the advent of ICT in education, this new methodology was embraced wholeheartedly and a solid infrastructure has been built in the school in the past 10 years. However, the introduction of such a large infrastructure over a short period of time revealed a large gap between the integration of ICT into teaching and learning and the availability of hardware and software to facilitate this. Training in the use of ICTs for enhanced teaching and learning was identified as a key objective within the school and not just over a limited period but in the context of continuous professional development. The need for this became even more significant on joining the Living Schools Laboratory project two years ago. In this situation, while best practice existed in the school, the need to highlight and expand this throughout the school became necessary if we were to truly earn our advanced school status. In true Skullnagera Mostri spirit, this work was undertaken with gusto. The first step was to move away from the traditional methods of CPD delivered to all staff in very short slots, often at the end of a once-a-term once a staff meeting, which often became little more than tech support sessions. It was agreed to adopt a two-step approach to ensure optimum benefit was gained from CPD and that teachers would engage actively and enthusiastically with ICT as opposed to switching off and reverting to more traditional methods of teaching. In true Irish fashion, the first step taken was to put together a committee. This is made up of one teacher from each of the four levels in primary school here. These teachers didn't have to be tech heads, they just had to be happy to deliver CPD to their fellow teachers at their appropriate class levels. For example, the infant teacher on the committee would deliver CPD to the three or four other infant teachers in what we called a breakout session. The committee agreed to meet once a fortnight and a strict structure was put in place to ensure maximum benefit was gained from what was voluntary time. The meeting itself was limited to 45 minutes and this 45 minutes was broken into three 15 minute sessions for feedback on the ICT setup in the school, planning for how to improve the setup and training for CPD delivery to the other teachers. This FPT45 structure has allowed for a significant improvement in the development and integration of ICT in our school. At the meetings a date was agreed upon for what we termed a breakout session. This was where the traditional staff meeting would be replaced by 45 minutes of CPD on an element of ICT integration such as using a visualizer. The teachers on the committee met with their fellow teachers in their classrooms and using the ICT equipment in situ presented best practice in an informal manner. This led to a thorough discussion of how best to use the equipment in the classroom environment and teachers embraced the opportunity to question, suggest, explore, investigate and resolve issues pertaining to the chosen topic. The feedback from this, both on the day as the principal or ICT coordinator moved between groups and over following days was impressive. Teachers engaged fully with the new situation and often went far beyond the objectives for the breakout session as questions led on to new answers and new areas of ICT. The general feeling was that this was a formula that everybody understood and felt they could benefit from. The dynamic for ICT CPD has changed forever to the benefit of both teachers and children in Skullnagara Monastery.